Hello friends, welcome to the problem solving session on selection of terms of an AP. In the given problem, it's uh, given that uh, find four numbers in AP whose sum is 20 and sum of whose squares is 120. Now they are asking to find four numbers in AP, right, whose sum is 120. If you recollect, in the previous session we talked about how, uh, you know, the selection of those terms in a particular format is going to help us. So in this case, I can always assume that the terms, four terms, four terms in AP be what all? A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D and A plus 3D. Now you can ask me why can't we take simply A, A plus D, a plus 2d and a plus 3d and my answer would be only you know to bring in some kind of comfort while solving this problem you can always do this but then what will happen is you will have to play with equations with two variables so hence we are trying to you know uh, play it a little smartly and then we are eliminating the variable because we know that ap's in ap's the consecutive uh, terms have constant difference so we are exploiting that particular property to so that we deal with only one variable and especially when sum of the terms is given okay it will become very clear in the next step so sum of sum is 20 sum of all those terms so you can see a minus 3d plus a minus d these are the terms and i'm adding them and it is given that sum of all these terms is is 20 so let it be like this 20 right so now you will see the advantage of taking it as a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d if you look closely all these terms uh, sorry the d terms will get cancelled okay right leaving only 4a behind and this is 20 so immediately you get a value of a which is 5 correct so you are uh, you know you eliminated one variable and now you know one variable at least that is a now it will be very easy from the second uh, relationship to find out d and hence you will be able to find out the entire ap now sum of school whose square so what is the square of these terms a minus 3d whole square plus a minus d whole square plus a plus d whole square plus a plus 3d whole square isn't it and this is given to be equal to 120 okay now let's try and solve this so opening the brackets you'll get a square minus 6ad plus 9d square plus a square this is from the first expansion second expansion a square minus 2ad plus d square second expansion similarly third expansion will be a square plus 2ad plus d square and fourth one is a square plus 6ad plus 9d square right and this entire thing is 120 now you can see 6ad minus 6ad will go 2ad and plus 2ad will go so what's left 4a square so we are left with 4a squares and then 20d square and this is 120 and thankfully we have the value of a here 5 so we can write this as 4 into 5 square is 20 d square sorry plus 20 d square is 120 clear so hence 20 d square is 120 minus 4 into 5 square is 100 so this is 20 so what do i get d square is 1 correct that means d is plus or minus 1 okay so now we have got both a a we got this this one is a and we got d okay so now we can find out the ap right or the four terms so let me write it here so the four terms are first term was a minus 3d that means it could be 5 plus 1 or 5 minus 1 that is 6 or 4 am i right uh, 5 oh minus 3d i'm sorry no this is 3 and yeah so you have to just a correction guys 
this is 5 plus 3 and 5 minus 3 so hence either it is 8 or 2 right this is not a division sign so let me remove this either or this so let me put a line like that so there are two two first terms 8 or 2 next is a minus d a minus d will be simply 5 plus 1 that is 6 here um 5 minus 1 that is 4 then a uh, plus d will be now you can guess this is 4 and uh, this one is 6 and then a plus 3d is 8 no sorry 2 in this case so i am taking d as minus 1 and then plus 1 okay and then this one will be 8 so the two ap's or two four terms in ap are 8642 or 2468 both are correct solution okay so hence you learned in this problem that you know if you take the four terms as a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d then it helps in eliminating one of the variables and hence the problem solving becomes little easier